Hey guys, it's Luke, your digital concierge here at Gramophone. And today we have something that I have been looking forward to for a long time. And I cannot wait to bring it to you. We're going to be doing an unboxing and thorough review of the all new Signature Series SAZ1 near field monitors from Sony. The all new SAZ1 is part of the Signature line from Sony. If you don't already know, the Signature line consists of Sony's absolute best products of their kind. True flagship grade products. And the SAZ1 have been intricately designed and engineered to give you the most impactful and accurate near field listening experience you can imagine. These are the kind of product you want on your desk if you are both an audiophile, but also work in the mastering industry. Let's dive in and see what these are made of, and most importantly, see just what they sound like. If you guys are interested in the SAZ-1 or any other Sony Signature product for that matter, make sure you let us know down in the comments below because we want to know if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Also, make sure you do not forget to subscribe to the Gramophone channel because I don't want any of you to miss out on any awesome products like these, so click that bell notification icon too. Now let's dive into this thing. I cannot wait to hear these. All right guys, so we're gonna get into the unboxing of these, but I want you to know that we're gonna have a sound test at the end of the video, and then I'm gonna give my impressions on what I think that they're like. So, make sure you stay tuned for that, but for now, let's get into this. So, these, being a signature product, and very well packaged, unbox actually a lot like a TV by pulling out these tabs, which I think is a cool touch just to signify the level that these are on. And then it lifts open, At first glance, we haven't even fully opened this yet, but my eyes are already fixated on these cloth, no, velvet bags that are shiny and shimmering and just scream that this is an $8,000 Halo product. All right, here's your accessory box, Mark Sony SAZ-1. Here you have your limited edition Sony aluminum card that's a brush black finish telling you what serial number you have. That's really cool. We have this massive, very well wrapped and extremely well constructed looking digital sync cable to connect both of the monitors to each other. You have your remote, nice and thin and sleek. Looks like it has everything you want and nothing you don't. And Sony includes some Sony batteries. Genuine batteries. All right, Sony. We have a USB cable. This is micro, excuse me, this is USB-C, the premium USB cable. And we also have a micro USB connector for Walkman. Cleaning rag, definitely for a product like this with its finished. Signature series pamphlet, product registration, warranty information, and your complete owner's manual. This is it. Look at that. Man, this is like a blanket. Look at this. Look at this shape. Just look epic. Almost like cameras from the side profile, like pro-grade cameras almost. Which fits, being that this is a Sony product. These feature four inch woofers, and as you can see, with these awesome looking multiple tweeters. There's a main tweeter and two assist tweeters. The main tweeter is a 19 millimeter tweeter, while the two assist tweeters are 14 millimeter. And this design helps with overall frequency response, but also with imaging, because it allows you to be even more precise with the placement of frequencies as you break it up between the different tweeters. All of that features a frequency response of 51 hertz to 100 kilohertz, which is absolutely insane. We only hear as high as 20, but the ability that these have to reproduce that high just demonstrates the audio engineering that went into this. Another fun fact, now at negative 10 decibels, so definitely quieter, but still impressive that it can do this. These can produce as low as 10 hertz and as high as 200 kilohertz. Really, really impressive numbers. These make a signal to noise ratio of 100 decibels, being that these are of course active speakers, and that is an astronomically wide dynamic range and very low noise floor. Precisely what you need for monitoring as you need to be spot on with great black levels and be able to hear every single last detail. 
These are for not only the audio file, but also the professional. Both of these speakers are built with an isolation enclosure that helps to cancel out and isolate from vibration, keeping that purity of sound. And each of these actually have four active channels. Every single driver is on separate amplification. The woofers, the main tweeter, and both assist tweeters all separated for absolute sonic purity. The woofers have 35 watts of power and each of the tweeters, both main and assist, receive 18 watts. That makes these as a pair capable of 106 watts of power, which is excellent, excellent amounts of power for something of this size and more than anyone will ever actually need. So these will never experience any kind of stress no matter how hard you're driving them. Lastly, this features Sony's DSD remastering engine for getting the best out of those elusive DSD files. This also features Sony's DSEE HX upscaling engine, which can take lower quality files and by using AI, boost the quality. That way, no matter what kind of file you're playing through it, you can get the absolute most out of it. Sony has got you covered in every aspect, whether you're just listening to something on YouTube or you're mastering for a high quality work. So the dimensions on these are seven and seven eighth inches wide, eight and a quarter inches tall, and 12 and seven eighth inches in depth. And they weigh a hefty 23 pounds per speaker. That way these are not going to slide around on your desk too easily. And as we've kind of learned with most quality audio products at this point, weight is a good thing. It means that you have a truly solid, well-made product that feels good in the hand and sits confidently on your desk. And ooh, yeah, that's not going anywhere. And as you can see, these are available in an adenized black finish being aluminum. Adenization was the perfect finish and it looks and feels great. These also feature a built-in field programmable gate array, which gives you all kinds of audio customization options. From keeping the timing coherent and to syncing up the waves of each driver, every little detail can be modified to get exactly what you need out of your monitoring mix. Therefore, you can get the power of an orchestra or the fine detail of a solo, whatever you need based on what you're doing. There are three tweeters in these units, one which serves as a main and two which serves as an assist. This gives you a wider soundstage and better overall control as you can further divide up the frequencies. These are a coaxial design with the tweeters laid right on top of the woofer. That blended with the field programmable gate array doing little tuning adjustments in real time gives you an absolutely perfect center image and helps these work so well as a near field device. Now let's talk about the woofers in these. One woofer is placed at each end of the monitor and they work to cancel out each other's vibration. That way you only get the sonic frequencies we want to hear and none of the parasitic frequencies we don't want to hear. A simple but masterful engineering stroke from Sony. These are also built using a base expansion duct for the rear woofer. That allows energy to radiate out from the sides but wrap back around to the front giving you a very natural sound stage. You also have large aperture slits cut behind each woofer. This allows the air to expand out naturally, that way you get a distortion-free and linear sound reproduction. The body is made from aluminum and out of a six-piece composite structure enclosure to reduce audible resonance, and there is a bridge arm structure between the drivers and the amplifiers to keep those components separated to preserve overall sonic purity. These are also built with an FBW chassis on the inside of each unit to separate the circuit board from the rest of the drive components in the speaker. Now that all the technical aspects of design are out of the way, I mean, just look at these things. They've got this futuristic look to them. They're solid as can be. And just looking at the front, you know that these things mean business. That coaxial design looks amazing, especially with the silver tweeters contrasting with the dark body and dark woofers. Your friends come over and see these and they're not even into audio. They're all of a sudden going to be just because of the design of these. I think the aesthetic is so cool, and these are going to look great on an editing desk right at home. Something that's high-tech and professionally made. Gorgeous. These work on USB. There's a dedicated connector for your Sony Xperia phone or your Sony Walkman player as well as both balanced and unbalanced audio through XLR and RCA respectively. Also, these tuning knobs each have very specific functions. You have tweeter time alignment, 
woofer frequency range, woofer excursion, and also a DA adjustment. And on the primary speaker, you of course have volume, the ability to activate DSEE for upscaling, Sony's DSD function, as well as main power and your input source. Very simple with a clear display on what input you're at and what your volume is currently set to. All right guys, so now the moment we have all been waiting for. We're gonna do a sound test of the SAZ-1s. And just to note, we're gonna move our microphone up to be right in the sweet spot as these are designed to be near field as we previously talked about and all of the audio settings are just set to the stock option as they were out of the box. We're gonna be playing these back via a connection to USB from our phone, and this is gonna be using royalty-free music from YouTube. These are most definitely a near field monitor, precisely how they are marketed. And what I mean by that is there is a sweet spot. They are meant to be for that person who is perfectly seated to be able to hear every detail exactly where it is supposed to have been on that sound stage when that music was originally recorded. No particular frequency really stands out all that much. Maybe slightly the highs or like the mid highs, but only barely. These are meant for the most discerning of professionals who needs to hear every little defect in a song to get their mix perfect. And once that perfect mix is achieved, then these will begin to reward you. For just under $8,000, the SAZ-1 Near Field Signature Series Monitor by Sony is basically the perfect marriage of the audiophile to the professional engineer, giving you absolute clarity, but a flat response perfect for mixing and mastering. If you're one that prefers an accurate sound for your pleasantry-based listening, these are for you. Head on over to skybygramophone.com and get yourself a pair of these wonderful Sonys right now where you can get fast and free shipping delivered straight to your door with secure checkout. If you guys need any help coming up with project ideas, if you need to schedule a service request, or you'd really like to speak with one of our hi-fi home theater or interior design experts, go get inspired at gramophone.com. Also, if you have any questions for me personally about anything that we've covered on the channel, ask at gramophone.com. I'd love to do the best I could to help you. If you enjoyed this video, you know the drill, guys. Please give us a like and drop a comment down below, and make sure you subscribe to the Gramophone channel for all of your audio and home theater needs. Always, I want to hear back from you guys about what you want to see from me, and please tell me what you think of the Sony SAZ ones, and I really want to know if you want to see other signature grade series products from Sony. As always, thank you for watching. Be seeing you.